Hey, Derek, uh, congratulations to you. Congratulations on the team. Just, just your emotions on a day when you guys win the AFC South and you go over 2K, I guess a pretty perfect uh, formula for you. I'm just happy uh, to be a part of this team, be a part of this organization, um, be teammates with the, with the guys on this team. Um, they're my brothers. Uh, a great, great accomplishment, you know, for us collectively. And um, just, got, just glad that we was able to, you know, finish with a W in the division, be able to keep playing. Um, you know, uh, got shaky at the end, but, you know, uh, we all, you know, stuck together and was able to get it done. Kayla? Derek, there's some great reaction out there oh, right when it hit the upright and then went in um, Sam's kick. Just what was going through your mind at that point and how exciting is it to see a guy like Sam Sloman, who Kevin Byard said he didn't even know who he was coming into this week, hit something like that? Um, you know, definitely appreciate him. Um, you know, that's a that's a big moment, a lot of pressure. And, um, you know, thankful that he was able to, uh, to come through and um, be able to deliver uh, in that moment, I don't know a lot of guys. I mean, we were, we were all nervous and you know wanted to end it right there. But he did a great job. Um, he hit that right, but it went through. So glad we were able to advance and definitely appreciate him. I've seen him around the, around the facility uh, uh, during the week, and um, you know I'm just glad that you know he was able to make the field goal. Teresa. That said, Derek, the TV camera kind of caught you there and you were watching. It can be tough, and you know, depending on where you're at, to see the ball going through on a field goal. Uh, as you as you, you were watching it and it hit it off the upright there, can you remember what you were thinking? How 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 thought did you think it might not go through? I just hope it went in. So I was thinking. I think that's what we were all thinking. Hoping that the, the ball went in, so we can end the game. T D. Derek, in, in mentioning your, your accomplishment, the 2,000 yards to some of your teammates, it, it, so quickly that smile pops on their face. Uh, what does it kind of mean to you just the way that it seems like your accomplishment is something that they all take pride in and it is more of a team uh, type of uh, goal? Yeah, I'm just thankful for my teammates. You know, thank you for, thank you for all of them, you know, week in and week out, you know, them doing their job, you know, and uh, – you know, just just the unselfishness that they have, you know, for for my success. Um, you know, I'm very thankful. Thank God for my teammates. Pray for those guys every day. Every, all the guys I go to work with, and um, you know, it's just a great job this year. And you know, um, glad we could be able to keep on playing. But you know, you know, I just had to go out there and do my job. You know, those guys, you know, physical, uh, a lot, lot longer. You know, like we always say, the lot longer the guy with the ball. And you know, those guys did a great job. But you know, um, I had some mishaps in the game and I'm still, you know, can't, can't get over, but you know, I'm glad we got the win. I figured you would point those mishaps out, but it, just the fact that that accomplishment that, that you did came in a, in a, a title clinching game, how, how much more special does that make it? Uh, I was just thinking we won as a team. You know, it's a team game and, you know, we, we, all, we all do it together. Um, it's not, nobody individual, so I'm just glad that we were to accomplish winning the division, be able to uh, make it in the playoffs as a team. And, you know, I got to be better. I will be better. And that's the main focus going on to, into the next week. Terry? Derek, what does it say about your offensive line to get the 2,000 yards uh, playing behind guys, you know, having in and out with injuries all year long and, and still able to accomplish it? Um, you know, those guys uh, uh, are tight, you know, they stick together, um, you know, they help one another communicate, they work hard, um, they want to be great uh, each and every day, you know, you know, they grind and to make sure everybody's on the same page and you know, I'm very thankful for those guys, you know, I told those guys um, when we got in the locker room, every single one of them um, on offense, how thankful, how thankful I was for them. You know, I wouldn't want nobody else blocking from me. The guys in front, and um, you know, I couldn't do I couldn't do it without them. Adam, have you, have you given any thought about uh, what you might be buying them as a present uh, for helping you get to two thousand? No, not yet. I haven't thought about it. Adam, 
Derek, a lot of 2,000-yard rushers are in very run-centric offenses, but you guys have a prolific passer. You have great wide receivers. What does it say about this offense that they don't rely just on you? I mean, that's what it's always been. We got a guy that can make plays. I don't know if he's going to rely on me. I mean, we just you know, I bring the ball, get an opportunity, go do my job. And, you know, when they hold the ball, guys make plays, we got the guys to do it. You know, it's not nobody depending on nobody. We all – our offense, we all go out there, got to go out there and make plays, and you guys did today. Uh, and everybody go out there and make plays, and everybody did their job today for us tonight. Thanks. Joe Rexroad. Derek, this is the, the most carries by far you've had in your career. Obviously, you're now one of eight guys to, to reach 2,000 yards. Is there any more wear and tear on you right now? I mean, how do you feel at this point, you know, going into the playoffs? I, mean, I don't know what type of question that is, but – I'm me, I work, take care of my body, just so I'm ready day in and day out. Um, you know, uh, I know y'all keep missing 2,000 yards, but I'm serious. Uh, you know, right now I'm just, you know, pissed off at myself of how, you know, the mishaps that I had. But at the end of the day, we're division champs. I'm happy. I'm always taking care of my body. As long as I'm available, I'm going to go out there and play and do what I got to do to help my team win. You know, my body feels good. You know, I'm, you know, just ready to help my team time I can. Three more, David Beauclair. Derek, was there a lot of discussion about your progress towards 2000 in the huddle? And, and could you feel guys getting getting more excited the closer you got? I, mean, I knew, uh, you know, somebody's going to keep track of it. Um, I think we were just all focused on, you know, winning, putting drives together, getting to the end zone and playing well as the offense. Um, we knew as long as we did that, then what we wanted to happen – you know what happened for us, but it started with us going out there, putting drives together, getting in the end zone, everybody making plays, everybody doing their job. John Glennon. Hey, Derek. Yeah, I was actually going to ask a similar question. I wondered, is there somebody that, you know, kind of kept you up to speed as you, as you got close, kind of said where you were, and, and you being you and not being a big numbers guy, did you tell them, quiet down, I don't, I don't want to know, I don't want to, I don't want to care about 2,000 yards, or how did that work? Focus on winning, winning the division, beating the Texans, us being able to put on those hats and shirts, be able to make it to the playoffs. That was that. That was the main focus. If I got it. I I did. If I didn't, I didn't. I mean, I didn't get. It, I wasn't pressing for it. You know, just wanted to be able to win a game as a team and make it to the playoffs, win the division. Thank you. Got an extra one in here. So two more gentry. Yeah, Derek, were you surprised at the end that, that you guys aired it out to AJ and instead of, you know, just playing for overtime? And what, what is it about this offense? I mean, you guys have won games like this all season with late drives and scores. I mean, AJ's a playmaker. He does it all the time. So why not why not throw the ball to one of the best receivers in the league and let him go out there and get it? He's done it time after time. And, you know, um, Ryan made a great throw. That's who Ryan is. He's accurate. Put the ball on the spot, good guys. Um, make, uh, give guys uh, time to be able to catch it, and you know, did a great job. You know, I'm just happy that you know, we were able to make that play, give ourselves a chance to win. Last one, Paul. Derek, outside of the fumble, what are you upset with yourself about? What do you mean? That's <laughs> you, you said you said mistakes that made it sound like there were there were a couple things that you were pissed about. Is there something outside of that? Fumble is a mistake. Fumble's not supposed to happen. You're not supposed to, supposed to take care of the ball and pride myself in trying to take care of the ball. And I didn't do that today well. So, got to fix that. Got to be conscious of it and be better next week. How do you rate the shirts and hats? Uh, I was happy we were, we were to put them on. All, all the guys enjoyed it. They enjoyed celebrating together. You know, one time, one time, I never forget.